Hello friends, it's Radia. Welcome to the long-awaited moving vlog. The last time I uploaded was quite literally several months ago, and I'm sure y'all are curious on how things are going on my end. So a little bit of context for you guys. Uh, I have lived in that same apartment with my family for the past 23 years of my life. I still can't fathom how much artwork I've made and how I started up my online shop in that tiny pink bedroom. This was my first time moving out independently, and there were a lot of firsts along the way. Apartment hunting in New York City was quite literally a nightmare. As you know, it's very expensive here, but as someone who was born and raised in Queens, I'm aware of what's within my budget in terms of how much I'm willing to pay for rent in relation to the amount of space I'm getting. Also, as someone who does illustration full-time, I work from home, so I'm self-employed, it is much harder to convince landlords about the nature of my income, especially as I've only been doing freelance for about a year now. By the way, this vlog will be a lot of voiceover and chill music. I low-key have around 400 clips to edit, and there's footage from May to September, which is really intimidating. I also underestimated how long it would take for me to truly settle in before getting back to work. I've never packed up my entire life before, so it took a while to organize my things and clearly I have more art supplies than I do personal belongings. I also wanted to thank everyone for being so patient with me. I really appreciate when people respect my time and these past few months were very necessary for me to grow as an individual and take a breather. There's so many things that took time, like getting new furniture and stuff for the apartment. We also painted the apartment ourselves. Sorry to inform you, it's not pink. The walls are white, but it used to be a weird cream color before that I did not like at all. Uh, basically, there were a lot of trips to Ikea and Home Depot. Um, by the way, I moved with my best friend slash now roommate, Emma, and my partner, Julian. The entire month of May, we were apartment hunting across Queens and Brooklyn. Sadly, the first two places we liked rejected our application despite having guarantors and the proper qualifications. I should also mention that Emma was literally driving across the United States with all of her things from LA to meet us in New York, so every apartment rejection we got was incredibly stressful since we were planning to move in before June. Obviously, my heart resides in Queens, so I was very happy when we got our third application approved for an apartment not too far from where I was before, which is nice because I get to renew my PO box. By the way, I apologize if any of y'all got mail returned from my PO box because I did not get to check it for about two months while I was apartment hunting and moving. Again, my deepest apologies. Uh, people also ask what my PO box address is. It's always written in my video descriptions. There's also a lot of things that are written in my video descriptions. So give that a look. You're, you're not obliged to send me anything, but if you if you want to send something, um, I will be checking my PO box a little bit more regularly so that nothing gets returned. <laughs> Here you can see Julian had some celebratory ice cream and we walked through Gantry Plaza Park and I also got some celebratory cupcakes. Uh, but at the time we didn't know that that first application would get rejected, but it's a nice memory to look on. I also finished knitting that sock that I've been showing in my past vlogs. So it's nice to know that I did finish uh, a project before moving out. Your girl also got vaccinated, love that for me, because I literally had COVID at the beginning of this year, so stay safe out there. Here is me picking up a rice cooker from Facebook Marketplace, because every Asian household needs to have a rice cooker, okay? I cannot fail my Bengali parents without having a rice cooker in my home, and I scored this for 40 bucks. Shout out to my mom for getting me my own spices, okay? Don't go to an American grocery store and buy teeny tiny overpriced bags of spices. Go to a South Asian grocery and thank me later.
It's voiceover me again. This is the part of the vlog where we finally signed the lease for an apartment at the start of June. This is when I truly started to pack my things with the intention of knowing we have a space to call our own. There was also a lot of running between apartments since we were going to paint and deep clean it. It was also around the time of my mom's birthday, so my brother and I baked her a vegan chocolate cake together so I could enjoy it as well. And she was definitely a fan. Kuni was a fan too. Uh, as you can see, he just loves to hover around food. And I put a little cupie as the cake topper. Even though there were a lot of firsts, there were also plenty of lasts. This would be the last time I'd get to spend her birthday together uh, living under the same roof. There was also a day that Julian and I got to dog sit for our friend Colin, and it was pretty fun. This is Moose. I'm pretty sure you've seen him before. He was a very good boy. And uh, look at him. Look how good he is. Such a good boy. Since I would continue living in Queens, my dad insisted that we just take several trips with the family car to help me move rather than renting a U-Haul or getting movers, uh, but I will not be making that mistake again because I don't think I was fully moved in until the end of June slash beginning of July. But here is the moment all y'all have been waiting for. Welcome to our new apartment. The painting swarm. You get 
getting the squats in. <laughs> Your butt crack is not out, I can confirm.
train to Flushing Main Street. Approaching the station, please stand away from the platform edge. So this is around the end of June once I've finally moved in. Uh, here I'm making pancakes because I just love pancakes. Also I've never used a like electric coil stove before so I had to practice a lot of my cooking skills on a new stove um, or a stove that I've never used I guess. And I also made some pasta, uh, just random footage of me cooking really yummy food and also watching other artists' vlogs because those have kept me company all of these months. Obviously, moving was a huge endeavor for all of us, so we decided to take a trip to Coney Island and we took the Q train and here Julian was explaining how there's these two stations along the Q line that are literally distanced a block apart from each other and honestly, I'm just gonna let the audio play from the, the footage itself, so he, he explains it. I want you to just keep the camera on, just wait, see how long it is till the next time.
I don't think I spoke in this vlog on camera yet. Look at my henna. Um, I just did yoga after I don't know how long and I decided to do really intense yoga for like the core and booty and I have a yoga block now. It's lilac. I don't even remember filming <laughs> the fact that I set up my studio or like a majority of it. There's no art up on the walls yet, but welcome to my living room. We have a TV. We moved the dresser that didn't fit all our clothes to here and now it holds um, shipping supplies. So figured out a use for that. We have a couch, a couch, and I honestly cannot wait to fill up the walls with art. Also, look at this plant. I am so proud of her. All of my plants went through really bad thrip damage, so it just got really leggy and a lot of the leaves fell off in between. And look how big this leaf is and beautiful. There's no thrip damage on it whatsoever. And it got really long, so you can tell I like wrapped it around itself multiple times so it can reroot and now it's growing bushier and I'm about to give her a little shower. She brought a crate of mangoes. The reason that I am dressed this cute is because I'm going to go to Yoseka Stationery to film a video with them. That's like a series of what's in my pencil case. So I'm bringing my pencil case to share what supplies I have. And I also packaged a little gift for Daisy. 
she and her husband own Yoseka Stationery and she's gonna have a baby so I wanted to bring some gifts, my products, for her and I am really excited. So we're gonna go there right now. My dad is calling because he is driving me because I'm kind of late. There's like a hair in my mouth, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so really excited for that. I will link the video to it below when it's out uh, so you guys can watch it because it's gonna be on their channel. Okay, see ya. It's a thick package. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 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 Just got back home super sweaty uh, from Yuseka Stationery and did some groceries. Excuse me. And uh, my Ninja Blender is here. I'm very excited and also came with a complimentary like coffee grinder, which I used to make cashew parmesan and fresh, uh, grind fresh coffee beans. Look at the rainbow. Hold on. Yay! Okay, yeah, I'm super sweaty. I'm gonna open this blender and probably just like lie down and cool down. <laughs> Hello, I am finally putting some art up on the walls because I'm having a very special guest over today and that was the motivation to start putting up some of the posters I had from my previous studio back up onto the walls. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit this time, but also uh, take a look at this. I cannot wait until I frame one of the, uh, the official prints that I had when I collaborated with Soul Candy, but I wanna get this framed and then I wanna hang this up on the wall. This wall was so blank for so long and I think all I needed to do was put up one piece of artwork so I started with that and I started putting more artwork up around it like Tetris and I'm kind of liking the way this looks and I've also put up one of my Rizograph calendars. This is the Be Great one so I love it. I love it here. I usually don't put up my own artwork on the walls, but I have this and I have this Patreon printable up right here. But I like the way it's looking. I still have larger prints that I'm going to put up and I also have this little queenie that Lee drew for me and I really want to frame him and put him up there. It's just weird. <laughs> Hi baby. He's looking at me like, what? He's like, you keep bringing people over here and I don't know who this is. You wanna come out, baby? It's a friend. It's a friend! Oh my god, he's actually coming out. I'm so proud that you. Let him smell you. He's a big boy. Watch, he's gonna come out and he can be like, oh my god, he's so freaking big. It's a friend. Dusty too. <laughs> Yay! Oh 
<laughs> yeah, Spicy is so small. She's, she's bigger than Ivy, though. Yeah. I thought you was Squing. You like Squings? Nope. His little nose is like... Yeah. He's a man. Funny boy. He's a man. Funny boy. He's oh. like, alright, peace. <laughs> Chanel boots. <laughs> Chanel boots. So cute. We got the tofu scramble, the seitan bacon, chocolate chip vegan pancakes, kiwi, and then some extra scrambled egg or like scrambled tofu in this tamagotchi bowl and also some oat whipped cream. These are so pretty. Thank you. So pretty. <laughs> Wait, I need to get a little mic. Oh, she flips out. Yeah. Oops, the other way. I'm... I can't wait to like give you a bunch of stuff because I saw when you made these trinket trays and I was like, I fucking love melon fun. I feel like wait, like I feel like melon fun is also like a concha. Like you know the the Spanish pastry. My boyfriend was just like that's a concha. And yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> a what? Like turtle bread. Yeah. yeah. I love when like cultures have like the same thing and they just call something different. Every country has its own dumpling. Mm -hmm. Like a samosa is a dumpling. <laughs> the same thing. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, this table's so good. This is a nice camera. <laughs> oh my god! Is this with air-dry clay? Mm-hmm. And I glazed it with the deco gloss. Oh, okay, look at you with your very special, like, the unique materials. Like, hold up, let me show. A little melon pond trinket tray. Because um, I, I like to have my jewelry like, out. Mm. Like, maybe I'll put this on my desk. And I'm so happy you so own it. Yes. New home. Yes, I love, I love. And also the colors are so good. Thank you. And then stickers. I have so many like new stickers. Do you like the washi I used? Yes, the. I got um, it from Mugo Bunny. Mugo Bunny, yes. I bought so much stationery from Mugo Bunny. I have the nicest stuff. Yes, I freaking love Tamagotchi. So, like, I met you on a skateboard with a pencil. <laughs> it's like focusing on your face. You're good, you're good. And then the I am a very serious artist sticker. Thank you so much. Of course. Do you want to like take a look at the new stuff that no, I made? I and you can pick and choose what you want. <laughs> Special unreleased stuff. I know, I feel like VIP right now. Yes. <laughs> In this household, we stay hydrated. <laughs> just repotted my pink princess into this beautiful pink pot. Uh, she definitely needed some orchid bark in the roots. And then now I am repotting my monstera. And look how root bound she is. So she's going from this pot into a slightly bigger pot. And then I'm going to take this nasturtium and then put it in the pot that the pink princess was in.
Good morning, y'all. I'm having a pretty Bengali breakfast. I'm having this yellow sweet jackfruit that my mom dropped off with some overnight oats. And uh, someone messaged me on Instagram. They were like, is that the stinky fruit? And yellow jackfruit looks very similar to durian, which has like a pungent smell, but this is completely different. This is the fruit. And there's also like young green jackfruit that isn't ripe and people use it to like cook and make mock meat but this tastes really really delicious it kind of tastes in between like a mango and a banana that's like the best way i can describe the flavor but it's very bengali fruit uh we still have that box of mangoes up there and my mom told me to save the seeds because we actually use the seeds and we like sliver them like almonds and actually use them in our cooking because a lot of bengali cooking is pretty zero waste none of the uh, parts of our food or vegetables gets goes to waste. We usually cook every single part of it and Yeah, I, I thought I would just share this little bit of my breakfast with you even though I'm no longer living with my parents I still have them with me here Goodie? What are you looking for? Birdies? 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 No no, 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 Do you like it? Honey? <laughs> Why'd you get stuck there? How are you gonna get down from there? If you want, I can give you the peeler. I was gonna say with the knife because the fruit is a little soft now.
By the way, here is the mirror frame that we spray painted, but it definitely needs more coats and we ran out of the other can of spray paint. Um, and then here is the mesh cubby and you can see like the back isn't as important, but there's just a couple of gaps and it definitely needs another touch up. So I did order a few more cans of spray paint to finish this up and I'm going to mount this in the wall in our bedroom rather than here and I'm going to fill it up with yarn. I've already shared this with my patrons but I thought I'd show you guys so a lot of my shop update has been very like nitty gritty detailed things so I include this fabric care card in any fabric product that I sell in my shop and it's just a little card um, that says like how to take care of it and like washing instructions because even though I do have it in the item description on the listing on my website, sometimes people will send shirts as gifts. Hello? Oh. <laughs> Hello! As I was saying, sometimes people will send a gift to somebody and maybe they don't know how to take care of it or maybe they've never had a silk screen shirt before. So I put this in with the orders for shirts and apparel or any fabric goods. And so this is the card from before and I made a newer one that's double-sided. Um, so now it's like a little updated card because I have masks and pencil cases now and I'll be having tote bags, not for this update, but for the next one. And it's just like, it's the little things, it's the little things, but it's surprising how long it can take to design something because this is all like my handwriting and I'm also doing just like all this designing as well. So yeah, I'm very excited for these. I also designed a bunch of new backing cards for the new Women Animal pins. So this was the Cooney ones that I had before, one for the Metro Cat, and I think there's one for the Mushroom as well. So that's what I've been up to. I've just been designing a lot of the product cards that come with some of the things in my shop. So that has been taking up a bunch of time because I want to make sure I get them printed and they arrive before the shop update. I also revised some things on my website. So this is the new order confirmation page that has a little gif of this illustration I made back in January. And I also added a new little Kuni icon for the FAQ right here. And I do need to update some of the information on my FAQ, but I'm slowly working through that. And things are starting to finally feel back in place again.
podcast hey what up it's me again we are beginning to reach the end of this chunky long-awaited vlog after six whopping months by the time you're watching this i've already relaunched my shop after a whole year of it being closed uh, all the footage you're watching right now is the preparation of it i had a ton of handmade items when i reopened which is why everything had been taking so long to get out which makes me realize i shouldn't put so much pressure to make handmade stuff for every single update i definitely enjoy it but i also want to make sure i'm not adding a ton of stuff onto my plate uh, i've also released my halloween shop update but i think it might be over by the time y'all see this, uh, sorry for being the world's slowest editor. Hopefully, uh, once this vlog is up, I can get back in the groove of sharing videos with y'all. Julian even told me that his grandmother was missing my vlogs, so Grandma Vicky, if you're watching this, thanks for supporting my work and enjoying these videos. I've been watching other artists' vlogs, which has made me miss my own, tbh. And after two back-to-back -back updates, I'm finally finding the time to wrap up this chunky vlog. So I wanted to give the biggest thank you to my patrons. Y'all have held me down during this period of moving and shop updates. I cannot express how grateful I am to have the privilege of working from home, doing what I love as my career, and to be able to share that with the rest of the world across multiple platforms. There is no obligation to join or support me on Patreon, but I do have extra videos and digital rewards on there if you want to pledge. Only if you want to though. I promise it does not disappoint. Oh, this year was the first time giving my Mighty Mushroom patrons early access to the shop. My highest two tiers also get a shop discount, so I was very excited to offer that once my shop reopened. All of my patrons also get early access to these vlogs. The financial support of my patrons also allows me to pretty much do my freelance work and take the time to make new fun products for the shop. So biggest, juiciest thank you to my patrons and also to everyone watching this currently. I wouldn't be here had it not been for the amazing, supportive community I've built around my work and the art and content I share. Thank you so much for believing in me and watching me grow in such a short period of time. I think some people thought I left YouTube and only moved to Patreon but that's not the case, you girl just hella busy, like so busy, but I'm trying to find that work-life balance because I think that's very important as someone who has their studio like in their own house. So, uh, oh yeah, update on the cats. Cooney and Ivy are getting along really well. This is the first time Cooney has learned to socialize with other cats and it did take a bit of time, but they're doing quite well. I'm, I'm very proud of him. He actually doesn't leave Ivy alone anymore and now she's just like, why doesn't he leave me alone? But they're not cuddle buddies or anything, but they've been pretty good with each other. I think putting out this vlog took me so long because I could not recall what footage I had, so it was very intimidating to edit, but I think I got better at editing. I don't know what happened, but uh, s somehow I like edited the first 70% of this vlog within like two or three hours and I was very happy with it. It might be because I have a Epidemic Sound account, so that's the fancy music you're hearing. Um, here's a pegboard that I got and this is what my studio looks like. Look at how much light our apartment gets. I would also in the future like to do an official studio tour and maybe an apartment tour, but we still have a lot to add to our apartment. So some wall shelves and things that would brighten up our space. It's really still a work in progress, but my studio is looking really nice and I love having the separation of like my bedroom and my studio space. In August, I also got to see my cousin get married. I think the most sparkly part of my culture is how decorative weddings are. So this was her mendi party, which is essentially dedicated to the bride right before the wedding. And she gets her henna done and my goodness, it is so beautiful and intricate. My aunt also did the little setup in her apartment and I just, just look at her, she's so stunning. This was also Julian's first time being invited to a Desi wedding. And I don't know why this particular clip is so crispy, but here's my family the day of the wedding. We all dressed up, we all look so good. And here you can see that I was one of the bridesmaids dancing into the hall. Y'all know the vibes, okay? Look at us, we had such a fun night and don't worry, everyone was vaccinated. Um, here is the bride and the groom. And Julian also had a really splendid time. 
here's a clip of him doing the worm to impress my younger cousins and he thought he was gonna get in trouble but they were so hyped up i even showed this clip to my aunt and in her words she says um julian does the worm very beautifully so uh i hope you guys got a kick out of that <laughs> I think that just about concludes this moving vlog. I can't believe that somehow it's already November and we're done with summer and already diving into fall. By the way, fall in New York City is the best time to do everything and anything. It's the perfect, perfect, perfect weather. I'm incredibly excited to get back on track because I already have an October vlog planned out. I hope you guys have been staying safe and doing well for the months I've been getting my life together. I'm really happy we got to catch up. Please leave a like or a comment it'll definitely help me with the engagement after several months of not uploading um, if you're new here then hi welcome to my film length videos i hope i've convinced you to subscribe i am indeed signing off via voiceover but thank you so much for watching and i will see y'all in my next video goodbye